Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to create this perspective camera flip on your image while scrolling. This is a very unique and engaging design. You can see very famous websites like Frema, Webflow and Dora using concepts like this for their hero section. And you can also achieve this with very few and simple steps. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are going to be creating that perspective effect on this image right here on this header section. I only have this header section containing the navbar, this text containers and our image. So on the image layer, if I open up the image div, you're going to see we have an actual image inside this container. So now let's start adding our properties. First, I'm going to select the container where the image is wrapped in and I'm going to scroll down to this section where we see 3D and 2D transforms. For that, the first thing I'm going to do is to click on these three dots here and I am going to increase the distance of this children perspective. So for the children perspective, which is the image, I'm going to increase the distance here to 1000. Once I do that, I'm then going to select this image here and then scroll down here to the 2D and 3D transform. But this time I want to click on this plus button here. Now, if you have this plus button, you can then switch to the rotate tab and then here you have the rotation that affects the vertical rotation. You can now play around with this cube and as you can see, if we move this like this, you can see it's going to give us this particular effect. So I'm just going to move it a little bit to, let's say, um, 18 degrees. So once you have this at 18 degrees, so that we can make it very obvious, I'm going to move it to 24 degrees. So once you have this at 24 degrees, I'm going to click out and you can see we have this perspective effect. So if I play this in the main preview, you can see what it is looking like currently. So what we are trying to achieve is as soon as we scroll, we want to have this image um, returning back to its default position. That is actually quite easy. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the editor. And to do that, we are then going to start adding interactions and our animation. So I'm going to select the main wrapper here. I'm going to go to interactions. And on interaction, I want to click on this element trigger because we want to create an animation on this element. So I'm going to click on this element trigger and what I want to have is while scrolling in view, right? So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on actions and I'm going to click on play scroll animation. For this play scroll animation, I'm going to click on plus to add new animation. And here I'm going to say perspective image flip we can just call it that you can call it whatever it is you like so once we are in the animation i want to select the image now and i want to create an animation on the image itself so selecting the image itself i'm going to click on this plus item and i'm going to click on rotate and for the rotate it's going to be 24 degrees just like the way we did um in the style so we are going to set it to the initial state that we had so here at 100 percent you can then go and revert it to zero but we don't want this to scroll at 100% before we get the original view of this image. So I'm going to move this 100% up to like 50%, right? So at 50%, we should get this image back to zero. So if I go ahead and preview this, you can see here that the image is just like this. And as soon as we scroll up, you're going to get this nice perspective effect. If you can't see this enough, you can go ahead and adjust the values a little bit more. I'm going to go to the styles. I'm going to go to transition and I'm going to increase this down to 32 just so that it's very obvious. And then in our interaction, I'm going to select this and I'm going to open up this perspective flip interaction that we have here. And for the initial state, we are also going to make it 32. So having this, if I go to play this, you're going to see that this is what we have initially. But as soon as you scroll, you're going to notice that the image returns to its original perspective so this is really cool guys you can use this if you're working on a SaaS product and you just want to show the highlights of the dashboard or any other thing you can see the way frema and webflow and even dora uses perspective image like this this is a very common trend and knowing how to do this in webflow is actually a really good plus to your interaction and animation skills so guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been able to learn a thing or two. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you find any of my videos helpful. Bye for now, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video.